What am I going to watch and review next? Hmm. Quiet. Very quiet. Like a ninja. Evil John? Jeez. What has it been? Like, six months? Yeah, pretty much. Christ, where have you been? Living in your shed and sneaking into your house to steal food. You've been living in that old, dirty, and manured stink shed for over six months? Uh, I'm not even mad. That's impressive. Does it explain why you want chocolate went missing too? Yeah, it's um, it's something. By the way, that dominator isn't going to work on me, you know. I mean, it is a paper cutout, and my crumb coefficient isn't going to be very well different. I mean, logically speaking, everyone in the real world is going to be pretty much a leading criminal, you know. Just saying. That's a good point. Anyways, let's just pretend this didn't happen and leave ourselves be. Unless you are doing something evil. Yeah, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting a drink of water, you know. Oh. Well, I'll be seeing you some other time then, I guess. Just call me when you're doing something evil or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, bye. Bye. Psychopaths the movie is a 2015 film sequel to both seasons of Psychopaths, directed by Naoshi Shiotani and Katsuyuki Motohiro, written by Geno Bucci and Mikuro Fukami, and animated by Production IG. So, in other words, the team behind season 1 is back. Mm, you know, that's pretty awesome. The year is 2116, three years since the events of season 1, as Inspector Kani Sunomori leads Division 1 into a battle with foreign terrorists to a small invade in Japan. After killing most of them and apprehending the survivors, they soon learn that these terrorists come from the Southeast Asian Union, or Sion, a super state that's the first in the world to import the civil system, in their special city of Shambhala Float, and find out that the long-gone enforcer Shinya Kogumi has been helping these terrorists out. Wishing to apprehend Kogumi herself and learn how the terrorists stuck at the Japan, Akani travels to Sion to personally investigate the matter herself, and soon learn there's far more beyond going on beneath the surface than just Kogumi helping out terrorists. Psychopaths the movie's plot is more or less simple for what it's trying to achieve, in this case, wasting the stakes a bit by finally giving us a look at the state of the world outside of Japan, filled with some fun and intense action-packed set pieces. But only being out the two hours means there's not a lot of ground to cover, and it makes me and most of the other fans wish this was the plot we got for season two. It definitely achieves everything it sets out to do, but you can't help but feel there's a far more, well, there's far more to be touched up upon. Especially since this movie is not the big climax of the series you might have thought it was, it keeps things pretty open for all seasons or movies. Though compared to season two, the major consequences here feel far more far-reaching and interesting. And well, the characters here are pretty much the same as before, with Akane and Kogumi being the only real major focus here, as they both try to deal with the situations thrown in front of them. Akane finally being able to reunite with Kogumi and figure out what's been, what he's been up to all this time, while getting even more wary of Sybil's intentions. And well, Kogumi is constantly trying to find some meaning in his existence since leaving Japan and MWPSB, using his skills to help the terrorists, even though he might just be searching for more conflict in his life so he can have an opponent to face in defeat. And well, the West Division 1 only get really brief scenes at the beginning and the end to remind us that they, uh, that they still exist, really, more or less. Which is unfortunate, though thankfully Guinness gets get some time to shine in the climax, which, kind of, which more or less makes up for him being shafted in Season 2. And the new characters evolved like Colonel Nicholas Wog and the mercenary leader Desmond Wutaganda or White, but we only get to know the basics about them, and there's nothing really interesting about either of them, except Desmond's habit of philosophizing a lot. 
so that's kind of just it. On the technical side of things, production ID continues to be as great as expected really, and this being a movie of a higher budget, it certainly shows. The action is River taken intense with plenty of shootouts and hand-to-hand combat to go around, mixed with some real pretty scenery in the form of sea and its war-torn battlefields. The music is pretty much the same as before, with a few extra tracks coming in from composer Yuko Kato, and a new opening theme from Ling Toy Side Segura, Who What Who What is pretty great. Though the credit song we use is A Beast Without a Name by Egoist, the first ending theme for season 1, which is kind of a shame since I would have liked something new, but I guess as this movie harkens back to season 1 more than anything, it works for the most part, so I can't really complain. And well, the English dub courtesy of Funimation continues things fine, everyone impresses their roles with the kind of performances I expect from the previous two seasons, and one of the new cast members, Jason LeBrac, aka Hay from Dark in the Black and Yato from No Agami, has some fun as Nicholas Wong. I should also state that the original Japanese track has some notable cases of English being spoken quite badly, but I'm known as English. That's just plain hilarious. It makes sense for the Japanese characters to not be so great at it, but the characters that are meant to be native speakers are equally atrocious, and it's just hilarious. <laughs> Overall, Psychopaths the movie is a solid installment in the franchise that accomplishes a lot more than Season 2 did in plenty of places. Sure, its plot may be a bit too ambitious for its one time, but it still delivers on what it promises and teases much more for this franchise to come, and for us it's ultimately worth the watch. And well, if you want to pick up, this, well, pick up this movie, it's available in America for Funimation and in Australia for Madman. And well, until next time guys, cheerio for more reviews and more con stuff because Madfest is coming up and I'm flying all the way to Melbourne for it. And well, you know, plenty more videos are coming up soon and I hope you guys can look forward to them. So, goodbye for this time, for real this time. Cheerio. <laughs>